Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. Um, I'm going to use the Tarot of the Night, which is a new deck I bought. I love the look of it. Um, it's funny because I was reading the reviews and people were saying there's nothing on the card to show um, what the card means. And I was like, perhaps people, when you're starting off reading Tarot, um, it's a really good idea to start with something like a Rider Waite that has really good um, pictures, descriptions, ideas of what the cards mean. Once you become a seasoned tarot card reader, even if you, we could do readings without cards, but it wouldn't be entertaining. But there are people on YouTube who do um, channeled readings, which, as I said, doesn't look as good it's still incredibly effective we all read by our intuition well not all of us some people just read the cards which is fine um but if you're an intuitive reader you really don't need the cards the cards are there as a tool for you so once you become used to seeing the cards and knowing what they mean you don't really need to have the pictures anymore because you rely on what the what spirits bring through in the way of messages so Oh, how funny. Six of Cups has come out there with the Ace of Cups. Um, the Six of Cups come out in the What's Cracking read too. And um, so we're using Tarot de la Nuit, which is Tarot of the Night. So it's um, a brand new deck for me. I only purchased on the weekend. So this is the first read with it, folks. So let's see how we go. Okay, so the card, oh, I'm all over the place anyway. The card we have out is the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a card that talks of water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But the Queen is very, very much um, in tune with her emotions. She's very, very uh, comfortable with her emotions. She is ready to share them. She doesn't mind opening up to people. She's, she's quite happy to do that. She can be very intuitive because she is very in touch with her own intuition um, but that's the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with this person or you could be feeling like this person at the moment. Behind that person, behind the Queen of Cups, we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is, he is representation of everything stable. Um, big organisations, um, the church, traditional ways of doing things. Um, and the Hierophant talks about stability. So it could be that you are um, moving towards a much more stable time in your life. Um, two of Cups behind that could be because you found love. Um, could be because you found a soulmate here. So you're finding stability through... I'm not saying someone else is responsible for your stability. That's definitely not what I'm saying. But through finding someone that you love and being able to express your love, being intuitive about that, maybe you've realised who you should be with here. Um, you have brought more stability into your life. And there's the sun. So definitely bringing in something very, very beautiful here through understanding and knowing your world, knowing yourself. Um, you've been able to understand what having a soulmate, being with a soulmate, having that love is about. And you're bringing in stability now because of it. Okay, so Page of Pentacles coming in here. So the Page of Pentacles does talk about an offer. It's only small because it's a page, so it's in its beginning stages. But it's something stable here. Um, could be a message, could be somebody just letting you know very through a message how they're feeling how they want to move forward with you and what they're willing to offer. And we do have a brand new start here with the fools. So it's about starting again. And I can see that from the beginning here. It's only just happening. It's only just happened. We do have the chariot coming in here. So the chariot talks of moving forward. This is the universe moving you forward here in the chariot. But it's also about you taking control of your own destiny here. You've had a realisation here. Um, for many of you, I'm just going to read that first line. For many of you, what's happened is you've had a realisation of the way you're travelling. You've had a, you've had like, it is like an awakening, um, but it's more like a, I don't know whether I want to say an epiphany moment, but it's a realisation of what's going on. So maybe you have been confused about how to move forward Maybe you've not been able to trust the universe. Maybe you've been um, trying to drive your own destiny rather than trusting that the universe is doing this. But 
you've had a realisation with this hanged man that the new start is there and how to move forward now. Okay, we have the star here and the star came out in the What's Cracking reading. So there's definitely a, a feeling of the universe opening you up, giving you a little insight. Perhaps you'll get messages at the moment. I know somebody said to me the other day they're seeing the numbers, the one numbers all the time everywhere they look and I said you know it's different for all of us I get a range of numbers so you know the 444 333 one 11 11 comes out quite a lot for me um you know when you look at the clock and look at your Facebook or see number plates things are um, arranged in that order everything starts to come into sync so regardless of what those actual messages doing that it's about your life syncing with the universe, which is what is important. So this is where you're at in your life here. Um, the Angel of the Night card came out. Now, it's really very funny because I wondered why they put the additional card in. And it really doesn't talk in the deck about this card. And that's what I was looking up when people were saying they found this deck didn't really give them enough information. In this particular one, this person has developed this card as part of this, and it really brings to it really brings to mind that you are standing in your own place at the moment. This angel is representative of the whole deck, so it's like you finally come to a place in your life where you are really feeling who you are. This is who you are now. You're ready to accept what comes in. You're not fighting life anymore. You're not trying to control things. It's like you're ready to accept, ready to receive here. So I'm not going to put that in the reading. Um, this is the card of death. And the death card talks about transformation. But I feel like a lot of you are coming through the other side of this now. Because it feels more to me like you're realising everything now. We do have the moon coming in here. So something is being revealed. Um, it's funny because I split this deck into many parts. When I get a brand new deck, I split it into lots of little piles. And I separate up all the cards that are the same. Because as you know, when you buy a tarot deck, it comes with all the major arcana. And then the you know suits, wands, whatever after it. And I split it all up and put it into many different piles and I shuffle the bum off it. I really do. And I shuffled again this morning. Yet I have so many major arcanas coming out here. So we have the star, the death and the moon here. We have the hanged man, the chariot and the fool. There are six major arcanas here, even though I split the deck up and moved everything aside. So I know that this is a big time for you guys, for all of us around awakening, around understanding what the universe is doing, like having a greater understanding of what is going on here. And then we have the magician. Isn't that interesting? So you are, you are the person leading your life. You are in charge of yourself. Don't let other people tell you differently. Don't let other people... Um, you know, make you feel that you are not in charge of your own life. You are here. You're very much understanding your own personal journey. It's like you're having this huge awakening to this idea that you can you can um, lead yourself through. I don't want to say control because control is such a cold and negative word for me. But it's like you're regaining your power here. You're taking back your power to move forward. Okay, so we do have the Knight of Pentacles coming in here as well. So there's definitely stability, definitely change in who you are through working at this. This Knight of Pentacles is looking straight at this magician. So I really feel very, very strongly that you're bringing your own stability in. You're not waiting for somebody else to do it for you and when summon the world cards at the end. So you're about to close out a cycle. What a beautiful reading. So many major arcanas. Um, and we've got the card that's representative of the whole deck here as well, which is pretty awesome. Okay, let's have a really good recap. At the beginning here, I see you finding stability here. And maybe you're trying to find stability so you can bring in a soulmate. You have the sun here, which is shining on you now. Um, and the moon in this reading here. So it's like you're really finding answers to things here. 
but you're intuitively finding answers. You're taking your power back. You're leading your own life. You are the master of your own existence, of your own destiny. And it's really showing in this reading. But it's not that you've had to try and gain new skills. It's that you've had to discard what you've been told. So it's like a peeling back of the layers rather than gaining. So when we first start becoming spiritual, we're hungry and we start trying to find answers and trying to look for different ways to do that. But once you start to open yourself up, you realise it's not so much about bringing in answers as it is letting go of things that you thought you needed to have. So letting go of your ego, letting go of your childhood fears, letting go of things that have held you back. This is what this reading's about. So it's like you're starting to understand your transformation um, rather than pushing and controlling and trying to get it to happen for you. You can't control what happens in your life. You can only take each moment at a time and wait for the universe to open that up to you. So it's about living in the moment, living in the now. And this is what you're doing. Um, and you're bringing in your own stability from doing that. So you're realising how strong you are. You're realising what you have to look forward to. And now it's like life is really changing up for you now because of that. Oh, how interesting. So we've got the card of meditation brings answers. So for some of you here, it might be a matter of starting to do a meditative practice to try and move along on your journey. Um, if you aren't meditating... Um, or you can't meditate or find that really difficult, I always suggest to people to try tapping. Tapping is really, really good to change your mindset, move you into a different space. But this is about your evolving. This is your life story sitting in front of me here. This is about you understanding the journey and finally getting how to move forward on your path. It's not even like you're getting it. It's like you just, it's naturally evolving for you. And it's funny because I look at this and I feel the energy from this is just so amazing. It's so powerful, almost palpable. Um, but you're about to close out a cycle. So there's no looking back from here. Now you've opened the door to your own spirituality. There's no going back. Have a fantastic day, everyone.